He says, look at the three screenshots below. All right, everybody, stop. Yeah. Stop the car. I'll, ex I'll explain the screenshots <laughs> when we okay. get there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Taken from iStat menus, system information, and Git info of my primary SSD capacity. In my effort to determine exactly how much hard drive space I have remaining on my 512 gigabyte internal SSD, I just can't seem to get an accurate answer. System info shows 157 gigabytes free. iStat menu shows a whopping 351 gigabytes free. And right-clicking the desktop icon to get info, Windows shows 327 gigabytes used, but 350 gigabytes free. Man, you're making hard drive space there, Steve. Good for you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He goes, how is that possible on a 512 gig? Yeah, because 327 to 350 is definitely more than 512. Yeah, we don't do public math here. Well, we, we, well, we know often, that. <laughs> but but we know that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Three and three is six. Can't get and we're done. Here. That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 So, all right. Any thoughts? Where would you recommend I go for the most accurate representation of my used and free uh, space? Thanks, guys. Steve. I think what you're seeing from... Uh, um, iStat menus and the get info window is more informative for you where it says there's yeah. 351 gigs free. The 157 is correct, I believe, yeah. but the 351 is the number that actually matters to you. And the reason is snapshots. Your Mac, as part of time machine backups, perhaps carbon copy cloner backups, perhaps other things, system updates, etc., is uh, likely making snapshots on a regular basis. And those snapshots can take up significant amounts of space, but they are also purgeable. And so while you have snapshots that, uh, you know, amount to what about 193, um, you know, gigabytes there, if I'm doing public math correctly, uh, they, if you, if you were to need that space, Mac OS would purge them starting with the oldest one, most likely and, uh, and free up that space for you to use. So the 157 shows you the amount of free space. That's truly free after all your snapshots are include, you know, include mm -hmm. with, with the snapshots being included in the used space, the 350 would not include the snapshots in the used space. It is technically used, but it can be purged if you need to use that storage. So what, what you're seeing from iStat and, and the get info window is correct. Now the get info window is likely also correct with the 327, because that's going to give you, you know, if you've got 512 minus 327, that gets you to about 185. So, you know, it's, it, it's close. Yeah. It, the, the, the snapshots are always kind of moving things around. There's other purgeable space that happens on APFS volume. So it's never quite going to be, you're never quite going to get exactly there, but I guarantee you, uh, in most cases, the space is going to be used by most of the space is going to be used by snapshots. You can go see this and Mac OS now will show you. It used to be the only way to see it was in carbon copy cloner, but now you get to see it in Mac OS. Go launch disk utility, click on the name of your drive in the left column and then wait. Uh, at the at the bottom of the detail pane for that, you will see APFS snapshots on name of drive. It will take a little bit for that list to populate, and then it will take even longer for that list to uh, sh start showing you sizes. Once it does, you can actually sort the list by size or date created or however you want. And you could start if you needed to you know, free up space quickly, you could delete some of the larger snapshots to get rid of those and free up that, that actual space, but the system will do this for you. So you don't really have to worry about it as much. Okay. Does I'm, that help? I'm sorry. So, so in disk utility, you click on the name of the drive and, yeah. then, what? and then wait, uh, uh, okay. you know, once you've clicked on the name of the drive on the right, you know, the right hand pane of that, that shows you the details of the drive that you've clicked on, it's mm -hmm. going to show you the name and the, you know, the mount point and the capacity and the format type and all mm -hmm. that. But at the bottom of that window, it should say APFS snapshots on drive name. It, it's certainly on your system drive. Yeah. Okay. And, and it, like I said, that window will be empty at first. Then it will fill with all of your snapshots. 
And then it will start populating one by one the amount of storage each one of them is using.